What's going on guys, it's Darren here with TNT Overlander and today we're coming to you from Windrock Park here in East Tennessee and we're ready to have some fun. We are at Shamrock Shakedown, TNT's all set up behind us. We're ready to have some fun. My buddy Steve in the Opus is with us and we're gonna ride Windrock Park all weekend and film the event so you guys can see what Shamrock is all about. Um, so Titan Off-Road Group, they put on Shamrock Shakedown every year so check out 2023 here at Windrock Park it should be about this time check them out on Facebook and enjoy the video we're gonna be on some tough trails but that's not all that there is there's trails all the way from greens to blues to blacks and double blacks I'll be on some of the blacks and double blacks filming so enjoy some of those videos and we'll try to get other people to you know share some videos with us of uh, the easier trails so you can see what that's about too. check out all of these rigs behind me Hope you enjoy the video. We'll see you in a little bit. Shamrock Shakedown is a three day, four night adventure full of adventure, wheeling, camping, and a lot of fun. If you want to check it out, check out the 2023 Shamrock Shakedown on Facebook, and we will see you there. For now, let's check out the 2022 event as we get checked in, get camp set up, and start the weekend. We did not get a chance to film much while at camp, but let's take a second to check out all the cool camp setups that showed up here at Windrock Park before we sit down at the driver's meeting and hit the trails. Shamrock Shakedown is open to any vehicle, make, or model. Definitely bring your overland, off-road, or rock crawling build out, set up camp, relax, and hit the trails with us in 2023. Driver's meetings are important so we can go over safety, trails that are gonna be ridden, vehicle requirements, and other event activities and regulations. Make sure you always attend those driver's meetings as they are crucial to having a fun, safe time while at any off-road or overlanding event. As the driver's meeting came to an end, it was time to sit back, relax, enjoy the gorgeous sunset as we get ready for the weekend's adventures and trail rides. Now that we've seen what camp is like, let's head into Windrock Park and hit some trails. I got to spend three days riding with this great group of individuals, and boy was it a blast. We'll head back to camp in just a little bit, but for now, let's have some fun. Day one was started at Walden's Ridge on Windrock Park property. Here, we expected a little bit of rain, but shortly turned into a lot of rain whenever we had to do a change of plans and divert to Trail 30. The gatekeeper at Walden's Ridge is one of the several obstacles you will face when attempting this trail. Let's check out how the Titan Off-Road crew does while attempting this trail before the rain comes in. Please remember while hitting trails, whether on private or public property, to not vandalize and clean up after yourself. Leave no trace 
and tread lightly. Craig made the gatekeeper look easy, and next it was up to Brandon in the JKU. plastic grill. Just front. Yes. Just front. Got 
come past you. Pop it up. Come forward. Like that, we're gonna pop, pop that front end up. Unfortunately, the Toyota did bust the weld on one of the lower control arms, which sent him home for the day whenever he had to go fix it to hit the trails tomorrow. As the rain was coming in, storms threatening, we decided to get off of Walden's Ridge for safety reasons and head down to Trail 30 at Windrock Park, the old Coal Creek where we would enjoy some nice mud and difficult trails. Trail 30 will test your vehicle's flexibility and how much you can stuff and droop those tires. There are also several bypasses where you can avoid several of these harder obstacles, but no, you will still have to hit some of them.
It was about this time that we ran into another group of overlanders from Shamrock Shakedown here at what is known as Brandon's Hole by the Titan Off-Road Group. You see Brandon going through his hole in his JKU that is well built. He got this hole one of the first times that he was off-roading in this area with this Jeep and since then has done a lot of modifications. You just mastered your hole. Master that looked the best out of everybody. last line to get out of trail 30 and hit the g trails before we head back to camp is a fun one there are three lines a hard a medium and an easy that you can hit the toyota fj took the medium line that some people had to back up and try again just to say that they did it after seeing the fj completed this was a fun day it's time to head back to camp enjoy some food before relaxing and hitting the trails tomorrow
back at camp, the Crave Barbecue and Burgers was there set up every night to serve all the attendees of the 2022 Shamrock Shakedown event attendees. Great barbecue, great food, and great time to just hang out with all the attendees before relaxing, heading to bed, and ready for the trail another day. The next morning we had an early rise, hit the trails where we would meet up with some new friends and hit some more hard trails at Windrock Park at the Shamrock Shakedown. Hope you guys enjoy another day of great wheeling, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. After hitting a few easier trails, moderate blues, some of the guys wanted to hit a few things a little more difficult. We headed out to trail 15 and a few others, 
where it got a little squirrely a time or two. After the JKU finally conquered Trail 15, we hit the G trails again where Drew would take his XJ to the next level on a buggy line.
once Drew was able to conquer this hard line, it was time to get back on the G-Trails, head to the north side of Windrock Park towards the 90s, and enjoy some more hard trails with the guys.
block it before they come. So they were going to come down. On It was a great day on the trails. About this time, we decided to hit some more G trails, head back to camp, and get ready for the raffle and dinner again by the Crave. It was great riding with Brandon, his wife, and their best friend. I cannot wait till next year of 2023. As we got back to camp, enjoyed dinner once again from the Crave, it was time for us to look at all of the awesome raffle items that were donated to Titan Off-Road at the Shamrock Shakedown of 2022. There were tons of great items with amazing sponsors donating to this event. It was time to shake up the raffle tickets and choose some winners to go home with some great items. Titan Off-Road, you put on an amazing event. Shamrock Shakedown 2023 is going to be a blast, and we cannot wait to be there. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like and subscribe button and come on our adventures with us. Once again, this was Shamrock Shakedown, hosted by Titan Off-Road, and we did have a blast. Until next year of 2023, we'll see you at Windrock.